Hey folks, Scott here. Um, on this uh, video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate the power of your mining rig. Um, I was, when I first built my first mining rig, I was really questioning how much it was going to cost me in power, you know, electricity bills every month. I pay around about, I don't know, I guess probably about $130 a month for electricity, about £100 for anyone in the UK listening. And I was really worried that, you know, a rig with 10, you know, a rig with six graphics cards, how much power was that going to generate? Because you need a lot of uh, power supply units and the things on constantly. So it's like, yeah, how much, you know, how much electricity is it going to do it? So the way that I figured this out, I took a chart basically of kind of like estimated how much power uh, my graphics cards were going to chew through every month. Um, the way that you ca calculate that, it's pretty straightforward actually, um, but it was just an estimate, it wasn't accurate. I found out a much better way to calculate, you know, a much more accurate way to calculate how much power or how much I'm going to be billed every month. So that's what I'm going to go over in this video. And what I used for that was one of these TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug devices. The cool thing with these, um, they've got, I don't know if you can see that, it comes with energy monitoring so this basically allows you to set like a it's like a plug timer basically but it's smart it's connected to the internet um, and you can schedule devices that are plugged down into this to turn on and off on a, a set schedule now obviously with a mining ring it's a bit different you're set there is no set schedule the mining rig's always on so you're not actually using that functionality with this device what you are using is the monitoring, the power monitoring, tell you how much electricity you're chewing through every every month. The other thing that this device is really useful for is the remote on off. And that's basically, if your rig crashes, if the software crashes, that type of thing, you can go onto the app. The app's really easy to use on your phone and you can power the, the rig on and off remotely and if you have Windows set up correctly or whatever mining software you've got set up, it, system powers back on and it starts mining again. Let me show you what the the uh, app looks like itself. It looks something like this. It's got, I don't know if you can see that, it's got the energy, the total run time. If I click on the energy, it gives me an actual breakdown of what the current draw is. And more importantly, what the daily average is. I don't know if you can see that one. Daily average in kilowatt hours. That's figure there. That's exactly what we need to calculate what our electricity cost is. So my daily average here, this plug has been on. This smart Wi-Fi plug, I've got it plugged in just down there. Um, it's been plugged in for over a month now and it's saying that I use around about 15.3 kilowatt hours, 15.3 kilowatt hours on this three GPU mining rig. So what does that tell me? Well, a quick look at my electricity bill. Let me bring that up. Two seconds here. Actually, I can't show you because I'm screen capture on. Quick look at my electricity bill. It tells me that I'm ch getting charged by my electricity supplier around about 21 cents or 15 pence if you're in the UK. So what I have to do is I take that 15.3 kilowatt hours and then I times that by my 15 pence, um, or 21 cents. We'll work in 21 cents because there's probably more people in the US watching this than UK. So 15.3 times 21 cents, it works out to $3.20 a day. So let's say there's 30 days in the month, turns up to $96 a month. So almost $100 a month in electricity. Um, but yeah, this device is pretty much the best way to do it. It's going to give you the most accurate reading. Um, be careful though, because um, I actually have two of these. I've got another one here. Um, I ordered the wrong one. Um, there's one with power monitoring, and there's one that doesn't have power monitoring. It's just a smart plug. Um, there's a very slight difference in the model number. This is the TP-Link SH, no, HS. 110 that's the one with the power monitoring um i have a whole blog post on this on my website my website is mine to the max.com and it goes into some detail 
um, on how to calculate the power, it goes through the maths for it. So maybe you only have the wattage of your GPUs, or maybe you just have an inkling, I'm gonna buy this model of GPU. Well, I've got a whole table. It tells you how much power consumption is by GPU. I've got a table and it's also, it's the load. So it's the GPU under load. So it's not only, um, it's not just a sort of a static figure. It's, a, it's actually the load. So check out mindtothemax.com if you want to kind of go into detail in this. Um, that's it for me in this video. Um, if you do want to go with one of these uh, smart plugs, um, I would suggest buying from Amazon, just in case you get the wrong one. There is a link in the description. Um, it's an affiliate link. I will get a little kickback from that. But I'm telling you, these things are really good. And the, as I say, the cool thing about this is you can power it on and off remotely. I've actually got these hooked up. I've got a Nest smoke detector as well in the room. So if there's if my rig ever goes on fire, I'm worried, you know, basically because I've got three really high power graphics cards, power supply units, and it's all in a wooden frame. There is a little bit of worry there for me that I might have, you know, this, it increases the risk of fire hazards. So having the Nest smoke detector means that if ever any smoke or anything like that, I know I can just go onto my phone. I'll get an alert on my phone if there's any smoke and I can turn that mine rig off using that smart plug. So it's really like, it's really good insurance, but at the same time, actually figuring out what the electricity costs are as well. So anyway, I hope you like this video. If you did, you know what to do. I'll see you in the next one. And yeah, um, see you guys later. Bye.